today I will show you how you can connect your Raspberry Pi Zero W to the internet and then SSH into it. So the first thing you need to do is to write Raspbian Lite to your micro SD card through Win32 Disk Imager and once you have a flashed Raspbian Lite to your SD card create a file called SSH with no extensions. So the first method I'm gonna use requires one of these USB to Ethernet adapters and I use one of these micro USB OTG adapters to connect it uh, with uh, the Raspberry Pi. So you just plug in the OTG into the USB to Ethernet uh, adapter and then you just plug it straight into the Raspberry Pi. After that you will just need to connect uh, an Ethernet cable to your adapter and then just give power to the Raspberry Pi Zero W. When you now have the Raspberry Pi Zero W up running you will need to download Putty and Bonjour. So once you have downloaded both of those programs you will go into Putty and just uh, SSH into Raspberry Pi dot local and you will be greeted with this warning so just click yes and uh, now you can log in with the username Pi and the password Raspberry. Now when you're in uh, your Pi you will need to type cd etc slash wpa supplicant. And now when you're in that directory you need to sudo nano wpa supplicant.conf. So in the config file you will need to type network equals and then you will need to do two brackets. And within those brackets you need to type ssid equals and then quotes and then psk passkey equals quote and in ssid you will need to put your network name and in the passkey you need to put the network password so now you can just reboot your raspberry pi and uh, you can run advanced ip scanner or whatever ip scanner you want so you need to find your raspberry pi ip so as you can see once I run the program I find my IP to the Raspberry Pi and I will just copy the IP and then paste it into Putty and we should be good to go. You can just click open and you can SSH into your Raspberry Pi. Okay so on to the second method you will need to have a micro HDMI to HDMI converter and I will use my I have a wireless keyboard with a mouse and keyboard so you can just use one of the OTG adapters and connect that and give the Pi power. So once you have given the Pi power you can just wait for it to boot up and uh, yeah. So when the Pi has booted up you will uh, just log in with the username Pi and uh, the password Raspberry. I don't know why it didn't just recognize the password directly there but once you're in you need to type the same as before cd slash etc slash wpa supplicant. So once you're in that directory just type sudo nano vpa supplicant dot config. So when you're in the config file you need to type network equals and then open up two brackets and in those two brackets you type ssid equal quote quote and then passkey equals quote quote and in the ssid you just put the name of your wi-fi and uh, in the passkey you just type the password and then you reboot your pi and you should be good to go but the great thing with doing it with this method is uh, when you reboot your Pi, you will get the IP address directly on the screen. So as you can see, I have the IP there. So you don't need to run any network uh, IP scanners. So then you just go into Putty and uh, SSH into the IP with the username Pi and password Raspberry. So yeah, I hope this uh, tutorial helped you and have a nice day.